Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to try to dehydrate cauliflower rice that's been frozen. So let's All right. try it. So this was given to me from a friend who got it at a food haul that she wouldn't use, but we will use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour it on here, cut it open or something. Um, it feels like there's some chunks in here. So I may have to put them in a bag to bust them up. Like maybe they thawed a little and then froze, but I'm hoping this works out well. So I'm gonna get these all on the trays and be right back. Hey, I almost forgot. Remember when we did our frozen strawberries, everything leaked to the bottom? So I'm gonna go ahead and just start with some paper towels in the bottom here to catch any of the moisture. Almost forgot. All right, so I got the first layer and I got it pretty close together as you can see, but I, I think, think it'll be okay because it's gonna shrink up as it's All dry. All right, we got it going and we got it set to 135, which is for fruits and vegetables. And we'll check back in a few hours. All right, it's been going for a little while. Let's see how it's looking. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's looking pretty dang good. I may have to check the ones underneath, but uh, oh wow. That is crazy. This dried out way faster than I thought it would. All right, I'm gonna have to move some of these down lower up a little because they're looking like there's still some need to dehydrate, but this is another win. I'm pretty sure, oh, I'm gonna get these all in a jar. Oh, so great and so less room in my freezer filled with stuff. And then I'll put these in a mason jar. And when we want some cauliflower in our soup, we just dump a few in there and they'll hydrate right back up. Oh, cauliflower rice dehydrated from frozen. Works, guys. This works. Uh, I forgot to show you. The ones on the bottom still have a long way to go to be dry. So we got about another hour. I just moved those ones to the bottom. Some on the outside is dry, but these still need to dehydrate more. So we'll be back in a little All bit. All right. So I went ahead and just let it sit in the dehydrator overnight. And they, I think it turned out great. They're nice and dry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get these all into this jar here. Um, when we did it with the peppers, they kind of spilled everywhere. So I'm going to try to get it from here to here and then just pick it up and just kind of funnel it into that. So let's we'll see how that works out. Oh, all right. We're going to see if I can do this and let you watch. I don't know. But... It's not heavy, so that's nice. All right, just with the hole in the middle, they tend to want to slide out of that hole, you know? So, the less I spill, the better, because they're really small and it'll be hard to pick up. But that's why I wanted, I thought if I put a big piece of parchment behind it, then anything that goes through the hole will just land on that and I can reuse this because I do have quite a few more bags I do plan to dehydrate the rest of it because why not I mean this is great okay so now <laughs> let's see if I can just scooch this to the middle and get it in this little jar no problem I've done this bunches of times never I've never done this actually okay so I'm just gonna hold the two pieces together Put this end over my jar, and hopefully it just all funnels in. Beautiful! Just like I was hoping it would. I love it when things work out. Okay, so that's how much I got off one tray. All right, I'm going to hurry and get the rest of these done. All right, I ended up doing six more bags and getting them dehydrated and added them to this jar. It's not quite full, but full enough, and we got a little air oxygen absorber in there and Mitch is going to vacuum seal it till we need it but yeah that is 12 bags of cauliflower rice dehydrated is that so cool 12 bags insanity in that little jar take up so much less space all right guys thanks so much for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video